love and greetings. I'm Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation, and I'm going to address a very important topic, how to not argue in marriage. And I made this one just for women. There's another one for men, but this one is for you ladies, because let's face it, men and women are very different and we respond to things differently. We take on things very differently. And so I have information that's more useful for you than it would be for your husband, quite frankly. And I wish you would subscribe to this channel, like the video if you find it worthy, and I'm sure you will. And I'm going to include a technique in this video. You'll get it later on. It's a very, very good technique. It is within the Course for Women that we have. And the Course for Women is probably not for you. It's for marriages that are literally heading towards divorce. And since 2001, we've saved thousands and thousands of marriages. In fact, our success rate is like 98%. And there's a guarantee and all that. But let's not go there because you don't need it. This, this is just how to not argue. You know, I grew up in a culture where arguing was just what everyone did. And a lot of families in my neighborhood, it is what everyone did. And as culture has been evolving, this is in the United States, people tend to have a, a different kind of threshold and they don't want to argue. You know, there's a saying, fools argue, wise men discuss. So let's be wise and, and let's discuss anything that comes up. But it's really not about that. We fall into arguments almost automatically. And the reason we do is because we're not in our heart. If you're in your heart, and, and this is broad, and I'm not suggesting that you work on this, but you could, um, when you're in your heart and someone says something that usually would trigger you, it won't if you're in your heart. Because we are not the part of us that gets triggered. You see, we're souls, we, and this is not religious, but we're souls. We don't have one. We have a mind and we have a body. And the mind is a very important instrument because it's like a computer and it's also a calculator and it retains information. And it's always telling us when there's danger or if there's opportunity. This is about self-preservation, right? Which comes from the body. And so what happens is when we are in our mind and not in our heart, we're reactive because that's what minds do. It's fearful. Minds are filled with fear. And so we need to do everything that we can in order to fulfill our marital vows and our marital aspirations is we have to be more and more in our heart. Remember the love you felt for your husband way back when you first met each other and you realized this is my soulmate. He's the one I want to spend the rest of my life with and you came from your heart. You did little things for him. You never would criticize him and you would never be critical of him. You'd never condemn him. Those are the three C's. And yet we forget. We become over familiar with each other and we argue a lot. Some of those arguments turn into full-fledged battles. So unless you have a multitude of problems and you do need the course for women or need to read one of my books, I'm going to give you a really cool technique that will help you control your mind and keep you out of arguing. And it's called the Fay table technique. So it's a, don't forget, I used to be a divorce mediator in 2001 before I started saving families. So I had all sorts of, I was a communications expert. So I had all sorts of techniques. This one I love. It's so effective. So as soon as your husband says something, remember, he's not just saying this. He's saying this and this and this. 
he's telling you a number of things. Sometimes there's a main thing and lesser things, but there's always more than one coming at you. Think of that coming at you as him putting his positions where he's coming from on the buffet table. So he's got this dish of, let's talk about the kids, this dish about, let's talk about we don't have enough money this month, let's talk about this. This is a buffet table. Now, it's not his table. You can add to it. So he lays out what he wants to discuss, and you go, well, I really want to discuss about the kids because little Johnny did so well on his quiz today at school. And you take over the conversation and you move it away from the argument that was sitting, waiting to be had into something very positive. Now, if there's nothing sitting on the table that you could make positive, you put something on the table. You know, you saw something today that caught your eye. Maybe you saw a cat doing something cute or you saw a, a video on reels. It doesn't matter what it is. The point is, it's not imperative. You don't have to go into argumentative things. There's no rule. And if he wants to, you still have your free will and you don't have to. You just change the subject, change the subject. But as you're doing that, more and more come from your heart so you can fill the beautiful aspirations of your marriage. Subscribe, like the video. I'm Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation. I'm going to leave you a link so you could see our website. God bless you. Take care.